President Trump narrowly escaped an assassination attempt Saturday night during a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, by a 20-year-old Democrat donor named Thomas Matthew Crooks. Trump immediately grabbed his ear after being shot, bleeding profusely from his ear. Video footage shows him ducking down right after the initial gunshots were heard. Secret Service agents quickly shielded Trump and guided him away from further harm. Despite his injury, a defiant Trump raised his fist and shouted, FIGHT! multiple times to the crowd. Susan Crabtree of Real Clear Politics has revealed additional infuriating details about that day. The Secret Service diverted critical resources to guard Jill Biden's campaign event in Pittsburgh away from Trump's rally, both held on Saturday. According to two sources, this decision followed the agency's protocol of treating Trump as a former president. This is despite Trump being the frontrunner for the next presidential election and having the largest political following in the country. Crabtree poses a critical question. Who decided to divert these resources to Jill Biden's event? From Crabtree, Secret Service resources were diverted to Jill Biden's event and away from Trump's because they followed agency protocol applying to Trump as a former president, according to two sources within the Secret Service community. Additionally, many supplemental agents from different field offices, not Trump's regular detail, provided security at the rally because Trump's regular detail was overworked, with some working seven days straight, and there were only two counter snipers. But Trump is not just a former president. He is the first in modern history to run for president again, and he has been the focus of several prosecutions and controversies. Who made the decision to divert the resources to Jill Biden's event? Crabtree also noted that Trump's detail was so overworked that several agents assigned Saturday were temporary replacements from multiple field offices. Again, Trump was treated as just some random former president. Trump's usual protective Secret Service detail had been worked so hard, with agents working seven days a week with no days off, that many of the agents assigned Saturday were temporary replacements from different field offices. This is not the usual protocol for sitting presidents and vice presidents, but is typical for former presidents, although no former presidents in modern history have run again. Trump has a permanent detail. However, it's much smaller in the number of bodies, the source said. His detail has been worked so hard with all the travel that they're working seven days a week with shift changes. So HQ sends in temp agents to supplement, not a good scenario. Mission failure, in my honest opinion. This blatant disrespect toward Trump likely played a role in him almost getting killed. Heads better roll across the agency.